Steve Ridge Jr. here for another in-shop adventure. Shh. It's awfully quiet in here. The beast is not running. Life has gotten in the way, and I've just not been processing very much uh, obsidian this, this season. Even the harbor freights are shut down. They are idle, and same with the QT12. Everything is basically idle right now. But I have gotten some work done, and let me show you some of these cool cabochons that I've done this season. Here is the first sample of some of my recently completed obsidian cabochons. And there's a triflow. That's kind of a silver sheen, but not really. And that one's got a little bit of gold sheen in it. And it is hard to tell under this current lighting. But let's do something here. It's pretty cool with these. You turn on the backlight. And you can definitely tell. This one over here on the right is Triflow. You can see some of the pattern in that middle one there. And this one here has got some clear. I wish I could get the gold sheen to show you. So let's get another light put on this. There you go. There's a little bit of that gold sheen coming through. Getting good video and pictures of obsidian cabochons is quite difficult. It's got to have the good lighting. As you see, I'm moving this light here around trying to get it, get things to work in there. Shows you some color. You can see, see the translucent. And you can see the silver sheen. Or the, sorry, you can see some of the gold sheen right in that area right there. And there's a little bit of silver sheen showing up in this one here. So, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and show you the next three. So here's the next three. All three of them are mahogany. None of them are translucent. And we'll turn off the backlight to show you. These two here are from the same location, and this one here is from a different location. Let's go ahead and shed some different light on this so you can see. Now look at the different color variations on this. It's easy to tell that these two here now are from very close to the same location. And this one here, based on the color difference, you can tell is from, is from another spot. But these here are good examples of the different types of mahogany that you can find. And mahogany is a generalized term that people want to use this orangish, reddish colored obsidian for. There's so many subsets of obsidian types. And we're not going to get into all those there. If I know of some of the subsets as we see them, I will uh, point them out. But we're not worried about trying to figure out which types of obsidian these are exactly. So let me go ahead and get you the next three. These next three do offer a pretty cool surprise. There you go. All three of these are a variety of Midnight Lace. And a Midnight Lace is where you have the black with the wavy patterns in it, the lace to it. Uh, they're all really cool. I like how they're translucent. The, the light comes through them quite nicely. And they are pretty good examples of more obsidian that most people can just go out and find. But I'm really impressed with these. They look good. And uh, yeah, they turned out pretty good. On a couple of them, towards the end, I will. Well, I could do it on this one here. If we get it to focus. 
Nope, we can't get it to focus. But, here we go. You can see how even that girdle, girdle line is. And I also, see the backs? I also polished the backs on these. Because being able to see what the backs look like is just as important as being able to see the fronts. This one here, again, you can see how nice and smooth and even that girdle line is over there. And again, the backs are nice and polished. And I've been working on getting the quality of my cabochons up even higher. And that's what I'm working on. I want to make the best quality cabochons for you guys as I possibly can. So if you're interested in anything that you see or any other types, let me know. OneJawsJr at gmail.com. We can have a conversation about these. Because all of these are available. Here are three more. These two here, this one and this one is Silver Sheen. And this one here is kind of an oddball. It wants to be a rainbow, but it wants to be translucent. And let's show you how translucent it can be. See, you can see how translucent it is. But let's look at the Silver Sheen on this one. You can see the Silver Sheen popping up in there. This one here, you can see some of it. And this one here, you can see a hint of color in there. So all three of these here are very unique in their own right. And the Silver Sheen is fun to work. I just don't have much of uh, the Silver Sheen material to be uh, working with. And I need to rectify that one of these days. That is pretty cool looking. Here are three more mahogany types. This fat egg shape, a kind of a teardrop, and this diamond. This diamond here. Let's go ahead and put some light on it. We're going to come in from a different direction on it. You see that? It's got some gold sheen. Now these other two here are just another variety of mahogany. And they turned out pretty good. But there's that gold sheen again for you. And this one over here on the left looks interesting because it looks like it's got blotches in it. You can see how that darker reddish color in there as compared to the reddish orange. And here are the last three for today. And I have many more, but we're gonna, just going to keep this short. We have the cross, the heart, and the star. The cross and the star are not true cabochons because they are not dope. See how you see how that reflection is on top? So, it's very difficult to get those to dome, I've tried. And so I've decided that when I do my cabochons, my hearts and my stars, they're not going to be real cabochons. They're going to be just those shapes. The heart is the cabochon. And you can see how it is domed. And those are tough to do, to get them to look right. But this one turned out very nice. So everybody, you've seen what's kind of going on with me, and you've seen some of my work that I've been doing. And I wish I could be doing a lot more, but family is a higher priority right now. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Just remember, everyone's life's an adventure. Then there's mine out here having fun. 
showing you guys some nice finished material. This is the Adventures of Josh Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!